The COVID-19 vaccine and flu vaccine are different, and it's safe to get both vaccines at the same time. So don't hesitate. Vaccinate. The Pike County Health Department reminds you that the strongest defense is vaccination against flu and COVID. May Robinette of Vernon, Kentucky, celebrated her 104th birthday March 21st, surrounded by family and staff from Bluegrass Hospice Care. May has one secret she attributes to her long life. What I think the secret is, but I guess, I don't know, unless it would be the Lord, honey. He uses Stoney. He's a, he's a giver and a taker. He gives his life and he takes his life. May was born in 1918 and has seen decades of advancements, including sliced bread, a microwave, and the cell phone. But her favorite was something much simpler. The best thing is, I know of is electricity can do it. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> and that's one of the best things I know of. I agree with you. Yeah, and now that's the truth. May grew up on a farm and after eighth grade began working with her family to keep food on the table. Now, the only education that I had was an eighth grade education. There wasn't no such things as high school. We made what we grow eat just about. We had big garden, we had cattle, we had hogs, sheep, cows, and all of them and chickens and everything. And it was so different to what it is today. We didn't have such things as electricity. And we didn't have no cold pop like I have today. We didn't have no ice creams <laughs> that in here. Now, we, people around Bible, I guess, did. May had seven children, with the oldest living child being 82 and her youngest being 67. Sharon Corball, her youngest child, spoke about what it was like to have May as a mother. Um, <laughs> She's a great mom. Um, oh, okay. great. She always a caregiver, always taking care of everybody. She raised half of Brush Creek, is what we said. She'd have to go and count heads in the morning to see how many people she had to make breakfast for. So she was always busy, always working, always there. She was an excellent seamstress. She always quilted and made clothes for people. Um, she made my friend's um, wedding dress that she got married in. She did laundry for people, iron clothes, whatever, however she could make money to bring them a little bit of money in the house. And we were all taught to do the same. May has 21 grandchildren and 34 great-grandchildren and several great-great-grandchildren. Many things have changed in May's lifetime, including the popularity of vehicles. May recounts the first time she ever saw a car. I can remember the first car I ever saw. And it was one of these little, I call them roadsters. <laughs> Those little cars. It was... Uh, it was uh, between a gray and a blue in color, and they said that it would belong to higher majors. Now, I don't know who it belonged to, but I was at church at the other, and I don't know how he, it had to be little to get you in here. There wasn't no room. <laughs> May says she has enjoyed life and hopes to enjoy it for as long as she lives. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.